Hi guys, this is Fo. Um, so I wasn't gonna get this guy, but um, Best Buy gave me um, kind of like a birthday gift, uh, and um, basically I was saving about ten bucks off this guy. Um, he is normally this is a Best Buy exclusive, um, normally thirty five dollars, but um, with ten dollars off, it's uh, twenty five dollars. But let's talk about uh, pricing and value. So is this guy worth 35 bucks uh, retail? No, uh, he's not. Uh, this is a six inch, um, basically same scale, uh, a Boba Fett, and he was $20. If you take a look at it, uh, incredibly uh, detail, cloth cape, uh, backpack and everything. And he comes with uh, a gun a little gun and a uh, rifle 20 bucks this is $35 and the extras that you get is basically this gun uh, this like heavy infantry gun and a coin which doesn't really add much to the figure so 35 bucks for this is not good alright so here's heavy Mando out of the box holding his gun um, you know the figure's great. Uh, nothing against the figure. Uh, this coin thing uh, is really useless. I wish they just get rid of this, It'd give us an, uh, another accessory, or uh, give us a save in instead of thirty-five dollars, make it thirty dollars. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's what you would expect. Um, here he is next to Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett is actually a little shorter than this guy, so this guy definitely is supposed to be a little heftier or bigger, um, but as far as I'm concerned, it is not worth the ten dollars extra. Um, it raises a more troubling concern about uh, Hasbro and their exclusive. All the exclusives are twenty five dollars, uh, which means they're obviously a five dollars markup. Plus, you have to go to the retailer, such as Best Buy or um, Amazon or Target or where Walmart, and um, Basically, you're paying a $5 upcharge on the, the, those exclusive figures. Uh, the problem is um, it sends this message that uh, newer figures that's coming out in the future are all going to be $25, which kind of makes sense because uh, right now, uh, with the pandemic and everything, the, the $20 um, action figure, uh, make, it makes sense that it's going to go up to $25. But I still don't love that price point or that that upcharge, especially if it's an exclusive. I th I feel an exclusive, if anything, should be cheaper because it's going to be much harder to find because you're going to have to go to the uh, uh, Walmart and look for for them. Um, the the recent uh, manner so. This uh, recent figure was $18 uh, from uh, for Walmart, and um, if the 3-inch <laughs> or 4-inch figure is going to be at $18, um, it kind of makes sense that these are going to be, uh, the 6-inch figures are going to be much more expensive. Anyway, um, I don't like it. I think uh, it, it kind of sucks, but... I mean, what can you do? Uh, I guess the only thing you can do is just not buy these, and uh, which is, I guess, fine. I would probably, I wouldn't have bought this guy if I didn't have that discount. Um, all right, so uh, my thoughts is, um, you know, uh, try to keep it cheaper. Like I said, instead of giving us crappy, uh, you know, dollar like plastic dollars, uh, give us a saving. I don't need this because I'm gonna lose this. Uh, and um, you know, pass that saving on to the uh, the action figure. Um, I'd rather have a bare bone action figure with no accessory and save a little money than pay like an extra ten dollars for basically this gun. Um, you know, uh, I haven't seen much review on this guy. I think most collectors are not buying it just because it's, it's so so expensive. And for those who get their action figures free. Um, you know, for re review and stuff, I don't trust you guys because you guys don't understand that people who uh, wants value, wants to pay less for the figures, 
uh, you guys don't understand that at all. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah, pick this up at Best Buy if you are interested. Uh, I suggest uh, uh, maybe waiting for them to clearance these, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't think they're going to clearance these. But I think it looks great. I don't even collect Star Wars, by the way. I just, um, I've really gotten into them because of The Mandalorian. I think that show is so good, and, um, you know, compared to the movies and everything. Uh, movie sucks. Uh, there's a whole uh, cottage industry of people who pops up to tell to tell us how bad the uh, movies are, and it's uh, Disney is to blame really. The the people in charge of Disney, or at least in charge of the um, the Star Wars saga, they just don't know what they're doing, and um, it shows in the movies. And fans are upset about that, and there's really good reason why they're upset because the movie sucks. <laughs> just make really good movies to make a storyline with um, the Mandalorian uh, the people in charge of that really knows their really knows their their um, Star Wars and uh, they uh, they're making it really good and that's why people like me who's like you know what? I really like that I, I want to own an action figure anyway eventually I'm gonna track down the Mandalorian uh, six inch uh, figure to add to my um, you know a Mandalorian collection um, so, by the way, Bo Boba Fett, I don't know if he's an actual Mandalorian, but he does have their armor, so, so I like that. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, just uh, an end addenda, <laughs> because uh, I'm talking about pricing and stuff like that. Um, well, the, I, I guess I'm really upset that, that this 3-inch guy is $18 at Walmart, and I kind of understand it because they're trying to get an exclusive with Walmart, and, um, you know, uh, they made very limited quantities of these and so uh, of course these sold out immediately and uh, now they're asking on eBay for like 30 40 bucks for it uh, Hasbro thinks that's a good thing Hasbro doesn't understand that it's a bad thing the people buying these are not fans they're they're basically scalpers who's trying to get money out of these if you look at value, um, Lennard Toys have been making the core action figure for a dollar. You compare that to um, a G.I. Joe which costs ten, uh, five dollars. Uh, so it's a huge markup uh, from, from that. You can get five of these for one of these. Now I understand Mattel and G.I. Joe and all that good stuff. It's a name and brand. Marvel Legends are twenty dollars but you get uh, a builder figure, you get a part, so uh, if, if you buy enough of them, you can build one of these guys. Now, actually, I'm missing his arm, obviously, but I don't care because I think he's complete as it is. In fact, actually, I didn't even want to buy his back, but I got his back for $5. I figured, hey, it was on clearance and everything, put them together. So the whole, this builder figure would cost me about, I want to say 40 bucks in total. That's a good price for because uh, these guys I got in clearance for five dollars each, and so I can end up building him. I am, like I said, missing the arms because um, the Sunfire figure was not on clearance.